Hi, welcome back. Before I get into the video about the first 10 years of my retirement, I would like to share an experience I had way back in high school that motivated me at the time and still keeps me going today. Maybe you have had such an experience in your background as well. I was not the best of students in high school graduating somewhere in the 200s out of a class of 244 students. My concentration was on playing football, my girlfriend, and spending time on everything except study. Just prior to graduating, my algebra teacher asked me what I planned to do after graduation. Although having no idea and without much thought, I said, maybe I'll go to an engineering school. His reply was, oh no, don't do that. You'll never make it. Looking back, that was the motivation I needed. It worked for me through college, my working career, and even into retirement. I remember that algebra teacher's name to this day. That summer, after graduating, I worked two jobs. Days in my father's hardware store and nights loading trucks. Very quickly, I realized I didn't want to spend the rest of my life doing these kinds of jobs. I decided that perhaps entering was actually for me. By the end of summer, I had registered in a junior college, taking the courses I had missed and repeating those I had done poorly while in high school. I also went back to high school to take a required physics course that was not offered at the junior college. With determination, I did well in all the courses with mostly A's. Now it was time to find a four-year college. I applied to seven universities, but was accepted by only Stevens. Fortunately, Stevens was a great engineering school. I always suspected that my acceptance to Stevens may have had something to do with my father knowing a professor at the college. That's something I'll never know for sure. Now, how that algebra teacher's comment motivated me. Even after a year of junior college with excellent grades, I was still behind most students upon starting college. For the first two years, I worked extremely hard, all work, very little play, and with the high school teacher's negative comment on my mind much of the time. Although unsure it would be possible, I wanted to prove that teacher wrong. In the second semester of my sophomore year, I finally made the dean's list, and from there on, it was easy sailing. I made the dean's list every semester thereafter, graduated with honors, was invited into all the honor societies, and had even taken a third of the courses required toward my master's degree prior to graduation. Eighteen months later, I did receive my master's degree in electrical engineering from the University of Southern California. My algebra teacher's discouraging comment had motivated me. Without it, I'm not sure where I would be today. The work ethic developed during my college years has made me successful in most everything I have pursued since. Possibly you can relate to my experience, or maybe you have had an experience of your own. Either way, you can use it in attaining goals in your retired life, or perhaps in the life of someone close to you through positive influence, perhaps a child or a grandchild. There are many motivational books. One highly rated book is The Smartest Retirement Book You Will Ever Read. This book is available on Amazon. There is a link to this book in the description for this video, along with links to Amazon audiobooks and to their Kindles. In my next video, I will discuss the first 10 years of my retirement. Those were the years prior to collecting Social Security in which I needed to generate some income to supplement my pension. See you in the next video.